Colin. Yes. What's your topic? I want to talk about, you know, I think we did this topic. Tim was saying we did this topic. I don't know if I did it or someone else did it. It was Nick, Nick as, I, Nick as I recall. But it's the new year. It's 2015. Yes. Uh-huh. And uh, I want to just talk about what our New Year's resolutions are. Because oh. I feel like this is a very fitting time to, mm. you know, very, you know, it's actually really the only time we can possibly talk about Because I yeah. feel like we talked about it maybe in like the end of January or mid-February or something like that. would be a little weird. Yeah. Let's do that though. We're, I'm going to make it a topic in like May. How we did. Kevin, mental note. No, that no, doesn't count as a mental note if you tell new, Kevin to take the note. New Year's resolutions in May. Um, so I guess I'll begin. Okay. Uh, I want to just be uh, a little healthier. And by that I mean like I want to I want to be able to ingest things that have a little more vitamins and nutrients. Like kale. Fuck you! You just yelled at me for doing this! <laughs> you piece of shit! <laughs> you just dined me out saying I eat too many salads. That's what you want to yeah, do. Yeah, but though. you ate too many salads. I don't eat any salads. <laughs> There's your president. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna eat any. Salads are delicious, man. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna eat all the salads. All of the salads. You're eating fucking spin. uh, You just hand over. I haven't had a salad in a long time. Yeah, we'll see. I was forced to eat a salad a couple days ago, and I did not. I was not happy about it. The story was: there's this place called Tender Greens. It's a good place. Tender Greens is good. I went there with they get my a friend. Fried chicken salad there. See, this is the thing. I'm not eating good salads. Yeah, all right. I went with my friend, and the, their menu is a little intimidating, and I don't really like that. So we like get up to the place, and I was talking too much because I do that, and um, I didn't know what the fuck I was ordering. Like, yeah, do you yeah. want the special? I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. I want the special. I mean, that was us. We were the there. It wasn't you guys. It was other yeah, stuff. Yeah, um, And what, uh, what's her name? I ended up having to get Phyllis? a salad, <laughs> and it was an upsetting salad. What was you went back in time. Uh, yeah. I Phyllis think kale Phyllis? was in it. Mm. Kale's delicious. Kale's oh, great. Kale's, Kale's interesting. It's interesting. You don't like deep cut on the album. Kale's bullshit. Kale's great. No, dude. It's really not. It's, it's, like, good. it's really it's good like for you. It does lots of stuff for your bowels. Kale. You don't even know. What do you no, hate about I'm okay with the sprouts. Man, but kale. No. Mm-mm. All right. No. So is our topic so, kale today? No, or it's, topic. Or it's New Year's resolution. Kale wants to eat better. Another Team Fat okay. president no, 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 stepping down. No, apparently. I'm not stepping down. I'm just still be the president of Team Fat because here's. Oh, the I'm president of Team Fat! <laughs> oh, you've been you've been thrown out. I think that I voted for Colin as president of Team Fat just now. You're not just president for life. This isn't North Korea. Yeah, hey, what are you, Kim Jong Un? Well, I have a real vote if you want. Wait, don't mention anything about North Korea. I don't get hacked. We got hacked. That would suck. Whatever. Uh, so, yeah, that would that would suck. Yeah. But I, that's not gonna. I'm not going to step back from calling out. A totalitarian dictatorship that treats their people poorly and hacks an innocent movie company so that they don't put out a movie, but they put it out anyway. Yeah. And it I did. I watched it last night. It was it, really it, funny. Yeah, was it? I want, I'm it's on Xbox. I want, to support, I want to support them. I want to. <laughs> it's not on PlayStation. Um, but my whole thing is going to be this. Mm. Since we're going to be working generally from home. Is that in the morning I'm going to make, I'm going to drink, Cheryl makes with the Vitamix I bought her all of these smoothies, these green smoothies. I'm going to drink one for breakfast. Okay. And that's it. Oh, that, okay. So you're not eating salads anymore. Oh, no, no. You're going to drink no, no, no. You're drinking I'm gonna the I'm going to drink a salad. Okay. And, 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 and I'm going to continue to work out four to six times a week on the Wait, elliptical. not a juice, right? A smoothie. Uh, yeah, no, a smoothie. The Good. Juicing is not supposed Juicing's to be. Juicing terrible for well, you. Well, you, you don't get the fiber. Yeah. You're just getting all the sugar. Uh, so uh, I feel like that will jumpstart my metabolism and make me feel healthier. Because I'm, I'm fine with my weight right now, but I just don't feel like I get any nutrients. Because the shower reminds me over and over and over and over again, I'm fat. <laughs> and uh, and that I don't eat anything healthy. Like I can go literally weeks without eating a vegetable. Wow. Yeah. You know, so it's like That's I true. have to I have to just get some of those vitamins in me. Lest I, I get scurvy or something yeah. like that. Like I'm a sailor on a 17th century uh, cross Atlantic uh, yeah. vessel. Sounds and like I, you. I never understood that. Did they have to eat the lemon or just drink the juice? They just needed vitamin C. Okay. But they weren't getting it from you know they they would eat hardtack, which is gross. What, is that? what the hell's hardtack? Hardtack is like biscuits, but they're like. So salted and preserved, or whatever, that they're just like just hard, rock. like rocks, Ugh. and salted fish. Mm-hmm. So you weren't getting, you know, because you have to understand a transatlantic voyage would take three months. So yeah. like they couldn't bring a lot of, they couldn't bring any fresh food with them. Yeah, they would just die. It would just rot. So I forget what was the solution. Uh, there I was a high solution. Sea, actually, they, they did something with the oranges and the lemons. I thought, right? I thought it was. What is the solution to scurvy? Oh dear. Okay, if you want to look oh, this, is one, this is the one practical question. No, they definitely didn't have orange juice. Uh, it must have been leafy greens or something like that. Leafy greens. No, Broccoli. Broccoli. Even after three months, though, that would have been... I know, but they mu- there must have been something that they found on either end or whatever we're trading for. That kale. Them. But I'm sure someone out there will tell us. Kevin's on it right now. Kevin's on it right now. Either that or he's looking My, at... The history, the history of... New Year's uh, resolution is to drink a smoothie every morning. Right. And just, yeah, and just, and just be a little bit better about that. Okay. Just to try to get some of the... Just because I needed mm-hmm. to detoxify. 
You know, I got a lot of toxins He's in my detoxifying. Detox. This is your president? You didn't vote mm. for this, everybody. You didn't vote for this? Yeah, you a did. Totality. Yeah, you did. The you, votes on the wing episode say you did. Yeah. You, you elected yourself president, and you ran unopposed. And now there's a new opponent entering the ring, and his name is C. Moriarty. Okay. C. I welcome all challengers to the throne. But it won't be an easy fight. You don't just get to walk in and say you're the new president. I mean, I'm just saying that. I, sometimes I go to Greg, I go, you want to come to Five Guys? We're going to Five Guys in South Sydney. He's like, oh, I'm all right. I, I, hey, do you want to come to once you, in a blue moon. You want to come to Chick-fil-A with us? So, you know, we got, I was like, oh. You do you want you know, you want a, some pizza from Noriega? Do you want do you want to? You time out, motherfucker! I've never been asked about the Noriega pizza, and I am bitter about that. And the one time you brought home leftovers, I ate them drunkenly in the kitchen. <laughs> so let's not get all fucking. Did crazy. you? I don't even know if I knew that. Did no, you tell you, me? No, I mean, Cheryl was out there. She's like, you want some of this? I'm like, yeah. And then I oh, that's, pizza. that's fine. I mean, you know, it's no great. harm, no foul. Let's I guess that. what I'm we saying is, Greg, Greg, Greg doesn't. You know, Greg's like, no, I'm gonna have this little portion of sushi. I'm gonna. Mm, that's I'm gonna have. You know, this kale. side salad, I'm going to have this kale, I'm going to eat right out of I literally saw him eat a Tic Tac once for lunch. Yeah, I a mean. A single Tic Tac. I came home the other day, Greg was eating. <laughs> Greg, was, Greg took two tortillas and just took two little chicken tenders out of the freezer and just, he, I'm like, yeah, have two, you have the whole bag. That's how you eat, Greg. You have the whole fucking bag. It's dinner time. This that's what you throw that down. Victor's burrito. Mm, mm, that's yeah, what you had for lunch? Yeah, like one o'clock. Oh jeez! I don't we force have, myself. See, this is the thing. I'm not trying to be. what I want when I want I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to aggravate you. I'm not trying Are you to, sure about that? Because it seems like what I'm, really, what I'm really trying to call out is a blatant hypocrisy about... Says the smoothie exercise man. You're being duped, America. <laughs> the smoothie <laughs> exercise man. <laughs> All I'm saying is that at 12 o'clock, you had Victor's. Yeah. No, 1 o'clock. I'm sorry, 1 o'clock, you had Victor's. Thank you, you. You come home at 6 or 7, and six. you're not hungry? Not, not, for, not for a million chicken tenders. I think I had brownies after. Yeah, I, think, I, I really think that at this point... You know, because regardless of the smoothie, right? I'm gonna eat lunch. I'm, gonna, I'm definitely gonna eat dinner. You know how I go down on dinner. Yeah. That's not gonna change. I go down. When on Colin dinner. goes on down on dinner hard. Like it's, I don't even fuck around with dinner. Yeah. At, at, at that point, you have to go. You I thought you were going somewhere with he that. He makes dinner. Oh, All I'm yeah, saying is that it's yeah, disappointing yeah, that you ate. What would you have? Like half your burrito, Thank you put you. it away. Mm, I don't want to know what's the thing. And then you come home and you're like, I don't have a couple chicken. Can I be the prince of team slightly overweight? Yeah, sure. Thank you. It's all mine. So I want to go back to. This is why we sell small team fat shirts. It's what you eat, what you want, when you want it. I mean, I will give you Don't that. Worry about the that our friend Sin is definitely team fat. Yeah. And he just doesn't gain weight at all. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. He's our Alfredo. friend Eric Hart's team fat as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, Eric Hart, Eric, yeah. Fredo works out like crazy. He's got abs. Not no. anymore. He Alfredo actually, goes through his little phases of like, I want to look like I work out all the time, but he doesn't. And he eats like shit. Always. He's gonna Not anymore. He's a little bitch. My New Year's resolution. Damn, damn. <laughs> shots fired, shots fired. My New Year's resolution, mm -hmm. and I failed it last year's because last year's was I was going to fight in a persona and I didn't do that. Mm. My New Year's resolution is very much tied to what we're doing here, that we quit our jobs and we're doing kind of funny every day. Blah, blah. My, my plan, I've said when we started kicking this around in October, is that my new day will be I wake up and I make a cup of coffee and I go out in the back porch if it's nice, if it's not terrible, or the backyard because Colin says the porch is too small and I'd also be staring into his bedroom. And I sit there and I read comics uh, off the iPad. I also want to read more books. I'm... That's going to be yeah, what you're in the morning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> Working out. Yeah, I'm taking down. I'm going down on breakfast. Read more comics for sure. <laughs> read more comics for sure, which I don't, I don't feel like I read enough of. I'm not as out, up to date in comics as I should be. But then in general, read more real books too. Because mm. there's a whole bunch you of... you got to read some real books. I'm really good at buying books off of Amazon and starting them and getting like four or five chapters in and then stopping and bailing. And is this, like is this fiction? No, not fiction usually. I'm, I mean, I'm way behind on like Aisha Tyler's book. Uh, there was some history book you'd recommend that I bought. I bought the, the other day. All right, I saw the other day, and I want to buy the Secret Hist History of Wonder Woman. Harry the Spy. Nope. And then uh, I did. I horns. When horns came down for the San Diego Comic Con live Daniel, show, Daniel like you're, you're, yeah, you're gonna interview yeah. Daniel Radcliffe. I'm like, great. He explained his movie to me. I was like, this sounds fantastic. And so I downloaded the book at Comic Con. I'm like, really? I want to read this before the movie came out. Now movies in my watch list. I'm like, I'm not gonna watch that movie until I read this goddamn book. Well, you never watched that movie. No. It's sad. One, oh, well, it's because I want to read the book first. You should watch uh, the other one he did, the indie, the indie flick he did. It was really good, too. Harry Potter. No, that was not an indie flick. That was a $300 million. The one with the horse? Seven. What if? Eight. Yeah, what if. I watched What If. It's real good. You like it? Yeah. Yeah. This is the other thing, too. I, I, I've I been saying for a long time, I want to watch more movies, like Colin. We want to be more. We want to be able to have more discussions. Yeah, movies. that's important to me, yeah. This, this, I've been fucking killing it over in the, the bedroom with the Amazon there. The mm. watch list, watching all sorts of stuff. Whenever you guys want to talk about what if you were killing it over in the bedroom, I'd you love want to talk, talk to you about, you that. Talk about you bedroom. want to talk about sex tape? I got gotcha. yes, you. How was that? It's Always. good. I enjoyed sex tape. I'll tell you right now. It looked like a how erotic is it? I mean, Cameron Diaz is looking on point. Mm. She was on point. On point. 
Good and so, like, her. that's... And, oh, no, it's not that erotic. I mean, they're, you know... That there's something special about that it's an erotic in movie. She's well, so sure. hot. There's a button. So hot. She's, like, always been a MILF. From... From birth. No. Yeah. What about the mask? Go she back and watch the mask. She looked pretty she milfy. Was so hot. Keep, keep in mind, I was like, what? Four. Yeah, exactly. When that movie so came out. So to me, like, as long as she's been hot, God, she's, she's always been mask. She, she was like Jesus 22 Christ. in that movie. She was so hot. No shit, really? Yeah, dude. That was like her first film. I gotta look that Damn. up, but I'm pretty sure she was very young. It's Ooh. crazy. Anyway. It was Feora. was the name of the girl. Da, there you go. Sorry. So books. That's why that's the next one for me. Mm. I want to read, read more, more books. books, more comics too. But the, that'll be easy. Books in general. Tim, what do you got? Nick, what do you got? Uh, so for me, I definitely I want to play more next gen or current gen oh. video games because Nintendo games don't count. Ah. I play every Nintendo game. I love Nintendo games a lot. I'm going to be playing a lot of them. I haven't played Captain Toad's Treasure Trap. I love that game yet, so much. But I've been holding off because that needs to be a Twitch thing mm -hmm. that we can now do, and it's going to be fun. Um, Twitch.tv slash Kind of Funny Games. Um, but I'm excited to do all that stuff. But I want to play a couple more of the next gen stuff. Like I, I, I have my franchises I go to: the Kingdom Hearts, the Final Fantasy, the Metal Gear Solid. So yeah, you're not playing much next gen stuff. Exactly right. Like goddamn. So I bought a PS3 for all those things, and I didn't really get too much of them. Yeah. Um. But then, now that I got my PS4, and I played Ground Zeroes, loved it. Haven't played too much of this this new other stuff, and I always feel like I'm behind. I'm not a big first person shooter guy. Yeah. Um. Back, I was PS2 era was the last time I feel like I was super up to date with playing every single thing that came out. Big into like Devil May Cry and all that type of stuff. I'm excited to get back into that. I want to play. I've never played the Arkham games. Oh, and I, what? I'm I'm ah. thinking I'm gonna not play them. I'm no. gonna play the new one. No, I'm just gonna no. wait and hold no, off. See what I yourself. wanted to do for our twi for Twitch now and for our Let's Play series on youtubecom slash kind of funny games is play through all three Arkham's again to mm. get ready for the new one. All right. You play through them in what would be the well, three of them. You don't yeah. have to play the. You really have to play Arkham Asylum. You have to play that game. Yeah, Asylum was great. Was Arkham City was awesome too. I didn't play Origin. Um, I, I, it gets a bad rap. I, it was a great, was great good. Joker story. Uh, I mean, they're they're awesome. Dude, I think play them for the fighting is, mechanic alone is, is just awesome. amazing. They do mm -hmm. it so better. Like it's just play. Yeah, got it. Go so tonight. Go go, tonight going off of that. I feel like there's a whole backlog of last gen now games that I need to go through that I just I never played and I know I need to. Resistance yeah. three, Uncharted. Uh, the Uncharted. So I played Uncharted one, loved the living shit out of it, and I've always like, I love just this been, so much I'll never play them again. Oh, I've been it's waiting. They're making more of these. I, I just want the. I'm so stupid when it comes to like remasterings and stuff where it's like, oh, there's gonna be a better one. I'm gonna wait. They're definitely gonna remaster. Exactly. So I'm like, I'm gonna just wait. They'd be time. absolutely. But Uncharted. If they I, I will say right now, Uncharted is one of my favorite franchises. Even just playing the first one, I know that that shit's fucking. Oh, awesome. that's like the worst one by far, too. That's what I hear. Even so, worse than the Vita one. You never got to the perfect ten, Uncharted three. Hell yeah, dude. There you go. Um, and then there was there was uh, Transformers games during the oh, PS3 God. gen. This is what you're going back for? They're great though. I hear really, yeah, really, really, really good things. Some of them are robots on well, just, robot. Yeah, no, just the just the two that matter. Play Gone Home. That's what you play. I need to play Gone Home. There's all these stuff. Play Bioshock. I did not play Bioshock. Oh damn. Yeah. See, I fucked up like that whole. Whole Bioshock's, gen. Bioshock's, we should do a Let's Play of Bioshock. Bioshock is, when I really think about it, Bioshock might be my, off the top of my head, like my favorite last gen game. Really? Really? Bioshock. Yeah. Mm. Definitely one of them. Couldn't yeah. get into it. Absolutely. Oh, I fucking adore that game. Mm. And it's funny because it, it forced me to be very honest with it. It was about Ayn Rand. It's about like, you know, an objectivist society that's mm -hmm. gone totally fucked up. You know, and like, no, I actually like, I actually like her her writings, but I can imagine that you would like it for that reason. But it, but it's about how it, she's like twisted and like how she was wrong, you know, and like, yeah. but I'm like, that's fine. Like, it's yeah, it's just an awesome. In oh, you got to play that. Game. I know, I know. It's a lot of these games I started and I played I'd say a couple hours into, and then I just I never went back. What else? To. What else do you need to play? We should just do a whole series. Yeah, yeah, I'm down doing. for this because like, did you play Mirror's Edge? That's another one that I've always wanted to. I, like, I, I played, I think, two hours of it. Loved it. And I just never finished oh, it. Mirror's Edge not, it was only four hours. <laughs> you should have just kept going. Hour. You were halfway through. Yeah. Mirror's Edge is really slick just because they nail that dystopian that, feel. That yeah. clean, that clean, clean perfect, fascist controlled. feel. Yeah. I love that. That's one of my favorite games. Yeah. See, I have a big problem where I fall in love with games and I just want to keep replaying mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. And like those just well, become... There's nothing wrong those with be, Especially the old games. Like, it, I can't play a new game because I'm like, you know what? I'm going to play Mario 3 again. Did you play The Last of Us? Yes. Okay, well, that's good. And, um... I love that. The Last of Us is actually my favorite Last of Us game. Yeah, it's the last of us. Peace Walker. See, that's, so that's my thing. Metal Gear Solid 4. I fucking loved that game. Oh, dear. And I want to play it again. 
Mm. I just want to play it again because I loved it so yeah. much. I just want more of that. You mean Metal Gear Solid Four, the perfect ten? Jesus Christ! I, I don't know about that, man, <laughs> but uh, it's I love it personally. One day I'll like, tell my that's your favorite Metal Gear. That's a that's a hard thing to say. Peace Walker. We, that's a discussion of its own. All right, but I, it's the most fun Metal Gear game. Two, right? Yeah, me too. Big Shell. I want. To, I also want to play more games next year. I don't think I've Is that your resolution? That's, Is that your official resolution? Hold on. Drew, let me finish this. Please shut okay. up. The video games, but my, the other side of this, I feel like such a bitch saying, oh, I'm going to exercise because I'm definitely not going to exercise. You're not going to. But I'm going to set a New Year's resolution right now to think about exercising mm. a lot more. It's what I call the Prattification. So Chris Pratt went from this guy that was uh, like, yeah. no, you know. No, but Chris Pratt worked out to get that. Exactly, thing. but he's slight, like, he was know, slightly overweight. You can't call it And now he looks like a fucking Grecian god. But you, he didn't Here I it. am, slightly overweight, and I want to look like this guy. You're not yeah, overweight. You could, could look like slightly. that guy. If you worked out three days a week, you could look like that. Exactly. So what I'm going to do is Stop drinking think coke and you'd be about done. working out. Yeah, but Chris Pratt didn't just point. think about it. That's a really it. good he point. He did it. Yeah. The Prattification is he started working out and did like paleo diet and just yeah. got shredded. See, I don't, need to, I don't need to get shredded. I just want to think about getting If you just stop drinking 15 Cokes a day. It's hard, though. Team Fat Quitters. It's not worth it. I mean, you that, would get, you would, you would that's the thing. It's like, they say if you stop, if you only drink one can of Coke a day, and I, I'm not throwing stones at you because I drink Coke too, but if they say if you drink only one can of Coke a day and you cut it out, that you lose a pound a month. You will. Well, I mean, I've done that before. Like, you did. I drink a lot of soda. There was, a, like a, I think, a month period where I just stopped drinking soda and I lost like 25 pounds. And it's just like... Well, shit. But it's so good. No, it I'm is good. It's, 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 it's almost essential, I would say. I mean, it's, it's essential. It's, it's not essential. It is essential. The, it, there's nothing essential about it. You the, do not need that in your blood. I don't know, man. I feel like I feel like you could you could shed whatever extra pounds you feel like you have pretty quickly. I mean, we have to. I just look at pictures. You better of myself enjoy it now. A couple years ago, and I'm just like, Should damn, we? my face looks so thin. And I'm like, if my face looked thin now, do you know what damage I could do to the world? You mean to women? You're the no. pure one. Yeah. You mean to women? I'm not even talking bodies. about that. I'm talking about just to myself. I'm telling you, I'll, I'll, I'll go out on a limb right now. We can start a, a health plan for the both of us. I need to lose more weight. I want to get yacked out, too. Do you want to do it? Do you want to, you want to start right now? I, like I Only said, Only if you guys I bring GoPros and set up. Yeah, while think, you're think, with think that. carefully we have an awesome about this. Montage. Think carefully about this because, because I, I, had a, I started having a conversation with Shower where I'm like, I think I want to just eat healthier and get back to like a totally normal weight because I'm, like, I'm definitely like 20 pounds overweight, right? And, yeah. like, and, and I, she has like these smoothie books. She's Cheryl's very healthy or whatever. And I was reading and there's like a 10 day detox diet or whatever where you can like only drink smoothies and stuff like that. And I quickly was like, I, I quickly was like, I started thinking about mayonnaise. I started thinking about uh, chicken cutlets. I started thinking about pasta. I started thinking about McDonald's. And I was like, I was no way the hell this is happening. So then I, I, that's how, that is how I arrived at the conclusion. I'm just going to drink a smoothie a day and change nothing else. Is because that is, that, you know, and then I'm That'll like, work. but then I'm like, but then I was, I, I, I wondered aloud. I was like. Am I actually adding calories to my diet because I don't eat breakfast? <laughs> Here's you want to. And know, Christine was like, "No, you're getting your metabolism started, and it's good for you." So. And do you want to know the spoiler alert of what's going to happen? You're going to start eating breakfast like I did, and then you won't be as hungry. That's what's going to happen. Because when I started eating my yogurts every morning for breakfast, my parfait, which is still my number six favorite food, but it's getting close, sushi. You got to fucking step your game up. That's when it started that I oh all of a sudden I'm full. Who is he talking? Well, because I think I think this is a big problem with me. Is that sushi, well, is that sushi su- listening to this five, podcast? Food. I'm just saying. I think it's a big problem with me, though, in the sense that I, I think one of the reasons... I don't think I'm calorically taking in that much more than, like, 3,500 calories a day, which is, like, somewhat normal. Like, it's, it's in there. 3,000 calories to 3,500 is probably about right. I think the problem is that I eat everything I eat from between 12 and maybe 7 or 8 every day. And then I go six, literally 16 hours without eating. So And I, that, I think that is, like, That why, is a problem. Yeah. What, they say that the ideal optimal... People go back and forth on this, depending on who you talk to, but it's better to eat more meals... And have it be smaller portions. Generally, I think a lot of people say that. Yeah, and say have it. those be mostly protein, like good lean protein and vegetables, than uh, to just eat one meal a day. It just doesn't. It just now doesn't let me ask you. You're this. not getting a lot of nutrition. Let me. But they're also. It is pretty commonly known, though, and I don't think anyone's going to dispute this, that in order to lose a pound, you have to create a calorie deficit of three thousand calories. So think about that. So if every day you shave off, you know, five hundred calories of your diet of shit that you don't need, like Coca Cola, at the end of the week, you will. Guys, can we? You have Take lost, a step back here. You will have lost Let's one pound. Let's cut off something else. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I mean, you can cut out French fries. You can cut out anything that you, your body really doesn't need. And that's how I like to look at it is when you guys always give me crap about like, okay, you, you, you're you just going to go out there and you're going to get your, your protein with a little bit of salad. That's what my body needs. I try to only eat what my body needs, not pizza, which doesn't give me any nutritional... <sighs> no. 
value whatsoever. I, I feel like I have to defend the table. Yeah. We're not giving you shit about what you ordered. Right. We're giving you shit that you make us order it for I you and then come back the with stories about pizza and tacos you killed Yeah, you else. regale us with these fucking... You've, been, you've these... heard me on the phone talking to underdogs and they have no idea what I'm saying when I say I want a side of salad. Right. Meanwhile, but... like, oh, I went home with my lady, my chick, and we fucking my crushed chicken. a pizza and I had wrapped four in a taco. Hot dogs. <laughs> Literally the other day she was like, for my birthday all I want to eat is cereal. So we got a box of Lucky Charms and a box of Golden Grams and we just ate cereal all day. But that's her birthday. That's her right. I eat, <laughs> I eat like shit, maybe two days out of the week. But the other and none of those days are with us. Can no, you make because them Tuesdays, if I eat poorly with you guys, it'll be a, it's a slippery slope because it's fun. You guys are fun to hang out with. We're gonna play video games. We're gonna order pizza. Boom, boom, boom. I have to keep. Like I us. gain weight super fast. So if I don't keep a hard like lo- uh, watch over that, I will just start to explode. Right. Like I've already gained like between now and. Uh, Thanksgiving, I think I've gained like seven pounds. I wear a lot of billowy clothing, so you don't see it's it. It's fine. You're antipasta. Yeah, he, he's almost fallen into it. It's fine. Eat. Do you want to see the antipasta plate? I, no, I'm saying... I, I saw it. That you was good. Good. I saw oh, yeah. it. Oh, that was amazing. Now, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. <laughs> if I were to say eat five times a day, and I just went only to McDonald's, and I would would hotcakes be considered a lean protein? Uh, no. Uh, would, would a quarter pounder with cheese... Be considered a lean in, in no way, shape, or form. You've All seen right. him order his fucking, can I get a Whopper with just the fucking patty? That's not even lean protein. That's, that's not even good for you. What you really want to do is, if you guys want to shed weight, eat, wake up, eat a, eat a chicken breast and some kale or a chicken breast and some broccoli and just I think keep rather that do. going. Like yeah. for no, lunch, have foods. a filet of filet of salmon and some, some carrots and some Brussels Coke sprouts. Man? Never drink Coke. How, where you the, can where enjoy chicken wings yourself. fit in? You can have chicken wings with nothing on them and they're not fried you just have to grill them that's what a grilling chicken wings this is a fucking outrage this is what i'm talking about how can you possibly sustain this diet it's hard and i haven't been able to but when you do you feel better you have even your 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 level of energy goes from peaks and valleys to just basically a consistent level of energy. Oh, so like the the, the fact that I feel like I'm one foot out of, in the grave already that at would, 30 years old, I yeah. would maybe lose that. That would probably alleviate that. Here's feeling. the thing. What about the radiating pain on my left arm? Does that, that go would, away? That's, that's just the pure, that's called a stroke. That's just that's that's the brownies. That's that's what the brownies are telling you right there. Like two days ago, I did 15 push-ups and like 30 sit-ups, Good and I was you. like, fuck yeah. Did I you feel, feel good? good? Oh, I felt good. I, well, you weren't tired? Yeah. It really sucked. Oh, now I'm tired. <laughs> it was like three days ago. <laughs> but like, the, the, over those three days though, I was like, I'm not dead. Because I know that feeling you're talking about. I feel dead all the time. Oh, yeah. I'm always like, oh, shit. I can't be dead all the time. Just, just can't once can't. every three months. So just here, do 15 fucking push-ups. I don't think it works that way. <laughs> um, here's here's the deal. with the, and I, I am by no means a nutritionist, nor am I a personal trainer in any way, shape, or form. Are you sure? I do know this, though. You don't have to do everything all at once. You don't have to radically change your diet. Anytime you're thinking about doing something big like that, if you are in, if you're thinking about it and all of it has to be done at once, it's not, it's it's too insurmountable. You're not going to do it. Nick. We went through this. Balls I was, deep. I would say for you, make an effort to cut out soda and you'll lose weight again. That's all you really have to do. And then make an effort when I when Kevin and I go to the, and join our climbing community again. You can come with us once and you'll you'll feel it. Don't do once that. a week, come climb with us. Don't and do you'll feel well, it. actually, you should do that. You can if use I the elliptical if you want. The, yeah. The, uh, the kind of funny establishment comes with a personal gym. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. The, here's Good the con- I'm gonna I'm gonna approach you guys with a conundrum. Mm. Do we have time? We have. Yeah, oh, I feel like we were wrapping up. Now no, no, we have plenty of time. We're two hours into this. We have as much time podcast. as I fucking want to have because this is our podcast. We don't work anywhere else anymore. <laughs> is huh? I just want I want to hit you with a conundrum. I really love orange juice. Yeah, but terrible for you. It's really bad for you, it's but it's terrible also for you. really. Good for you. No, I, no, it is it's not. <laughs> you, I, my vitamin C, orange. my vitamin C orange is, is really good for you. This is this is what doesn't make Except any sense. Except if you eat too many of them, you get the poops that are just orange. This like is what this, yeah, is, this is what doesn't make any sense. Okay, and this is people have said this before. It doesn't make any fucking sense. I'm yeah. going to tell you why. Okay, I drink Trader Joe's orange juice. Yeah. It is not from concentrate. It is literally crushed oranges okay. in a carton. How is that any different? Than eating an orange, it is the because only ingredient in one glass, is an orange. Because in one glass, you were drinking like ten oranges. That's the problem. But that's the nectar of life. You're getting way too much sugar. Way more. That's the, the, the one of the biggest problems that we have as a society in the United States is that we get we have way too much sugar in our diet. Way too much sugar and way too much sodium. Those are big, big problems because your body can't handle that much sugar. It doesn't need that much sugar. It doesn't need that much sodium. 
Like we don't need we don't need How those can elements. How you presume in our... what kind of sugar my body? Needs? <laughs> 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 no, look, na natural sugars are great, and it's great to have a variety of them. But the problem is, a lot of times people go, "Oh, I'm, I'm juicing things now," and it doesn't work that well for them because you're you're getting the sugar from like 15 pieces of fruit in one glass. You're not getting any of the fiber, and you're not getting any of the other minerals and things like that. So you're just you're just basically drinking sugar. That's bad. When you say you're gonna do smoothies, that's great. Do a smoothie. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do Put in some protein smoothie. powder in that bad boy so you get some protein. I drink protein. so much orange juice. I actually think that that is the re one of the reasons why I'm fat. It is. It, it probably and it, not that you're not that consider you fat, but if you look at the on. calorie, just count your calories too. You get it, there's an app on your phone. Thing. Do you, you want to live like this, Colin? No, nobody wants. No, to live I'm like not this. saying that. I'm just saying like when you look like we're not fucking that not right petitions. there has how many calories does that have in it? Can you read it in Spanish? Two hundred. <laughs> Two hundred calories. <laughs> That's a Mexican cup. I'm not making it. Cinco. 200 calories. You drink three of those a day. That's 600 calories. That's more than an extra meal that you're having. It How many of those do you drink a day? I'd rather, I would give up a meal. But gladly. you don't. But you don't. I That's do. problem. Breakfast. You go to the Ironside every day. You're like, I'm going to go get this thing. And thing. This, this big mocha. That's like 2,000 calories. <laughs> yeah, that's, but that's not food. Anyway, I'm not I'm not sitting. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to. I eat, I eat as poorly as anyone. God knows I ate five pieces of pizza last night and an entire block of fudge. <laughs> I did. <laughs> This is the problem I we're took talking down about. A block of fudge by myself, not in one sitting. Kept getting up because in my brain, when I walk over there, the two calories I burn is enough to have one more. Sliver well, that's the thing you were fudge. saying. Smaller meals, you can have more. Smaller fudge meals. So you were just having smaller fudge. Meals. Yeah, fudge is terrible for you. It's I'm just, just gonna, plain sugar. I'm just gonna say this that I'm I'm I the orange juice might be bad for me on a caloric level, but I I am fortified with vitamin C. You probably you're are. not gonna fuck with my vitamin C. You probably you probably it's impossible. Are. You can probably you can get that. You'd be better off, all I'm saying, is if you ate an orange and drank a glass of water. Because <laughs> also, the, the sugar also, pro I don't know if sugar, I think sugar dehydrates you as well. So that's, oh, a, yeah. that's a problem right there, is that you're, you're, oftentimes people get stuck in this, in this sort of downward spiral of like, drinking these foods or eating these foods that they like, and instead of drinking water, which is really, really bad for you, like you should just be constantly drinking water, all the time. I drink water so much, but I also, my, my, my bladder is the size of a walnut, so it's a huge problem. I thought, you know what's funny is, out of the, 50 some odd episodes we've done of this, I go to the bathroom more than anyone else. Well, I'm you always drink it, but you're more. actively drinking you a lot drink of water. Like, you drink all I that? just sip on my water and I'm drinking alcohol all the time, which is fucking dehydrating. That's very true. The, the, that stuff, that's bad for you because that like shuts your body down. Even, so. You're never going to win that. Don't go that. Don't try to fight that. I'm, fight. Not, I'm not saying it's like you're you trying to take away the Coke, the orange juice, and the bourbon. But you, you don't get drink that much. Like, you don't drink no, don't. every day. Like, you don't come home like, I need five cocktails. I would drink half the days, probably. Half the days, probably fine. It's and it's probably okay. Well, what's, what kills me about YouTube specifically? Not so much this guy because he's a quitter and he's like getting out there working out. Just, you guys are all such fucking hypocrites. He's doing, hypocrites. He's doing, doing like Rocky here. style workouts with fucking like lumber and yeah. shit. Where he's, you know, he's I've doing seen those, it. Those front squats. It's intimidating. Um, you guys are naturally skinny, which no. means if you just stopped these like a few poor habits, you would just your body would bounce back and you probably would allow. You stopped drinking diet coke or regular coke and you lost twenty pounds. You didn't do anything else. Yeah. That's your body yeah. saying this yeah. is the way I should be. You're that's like saying you're putting gasoline in your car instead of like rubbing alcohol. You know what I mean? Like you're I giving like your car what it needs to I actually should go forward. Be. Everything else requires work, so therefore. What? But there's no work in not doing something. You literally physically don't have to do it. Yeah, I guess you're right. You have to go to the store to get those, and it costs money if you just cut them out. Amazon, whatever. bro. Or just drink coffee like me. It's great. For I'm see, that's that's my thing. I'm just a fan of drinking things. Yeah. So like when I replace it with water, I was fine with that. I'll just yeah. drink as much. Well, I, oh, I, at, one so point, for you. at one point, some other fuckers tried telling me, you can drink too much water. And I was you like, can't. get the fuck out. Here's like, the other... You shouldn't be drinking six liters a day. And I'm like, why? Why the fuck not? And yeah. apparently, you can die. Well, you can... Yeah, but that's like no, but okay. chugging. You'll feel, yourself, you'll feel yourself before you... But, but taking a step back from dying, like supposedly, like there is an amount of water a day that is unhealthy to drink because it's making your body do too much shit. Interesting. Fuck off, everybody. everybody right. Everybody says the same stupid stuff. Eggs are good. Eggs are bad. Water's good. Water's oh, eggs are, bad. I hope eggs are good. I, will I say eat like stuff. a million of them a week. That stuff. Instead, if you drink water instead of that stuff, you'll feel more full. You'll feel less inclined to eat because most people, uh, when they think they're hungry, they're actually just thirsty. Or when you think you're tired. I don't think I have when any. You think you're hungry, you're actually that. just tired. I think I'm okay on eating. I eat really bad things, but I don't eat that much. Yeah, it's just those for you. It yeah, really is. I, soda's my definitely. It's my. I don't it's, even want to say my your, downfall. No, it's my proudest it's moment. That's what it is. It's my little bit of happiness. So I'm gonna play more games. That's my New Year's resolution for 2015.
And Ladies I'm, and gentlemen, that's the game over. <laughs> that's <a> show. <laughs> did you do yours already? Uh, yeah, I did. All right, great. Bye, guys. Remember, I'm going to read more. All oh, right. Each and every week, four, sometimes five best friends gather on this table. Each bring a random topic of discussion for your amusement. If you like that, you can head over to patreon.com slash kindoffunny. Support us there. Get the shows early. What's wrong? What's Kevin laughing so hard at? Oh, um, you're rubbing your gut? I thought I screwed up. I thought I screwed up the URL. <laughs> Run over the WMD. <laughs> If you don't think we're worth the money, don't worry about it. You don't need to give us the money. You kind of do. We don't jobs. Go to youtube.com slash kind of funny. We break out each and every topic day by day for amusement before we put up the whole show on Friday on YouTube and iTunes and podcast services of your choice, including SoundCloud. Also, like we said at the beginning of the show, we all quit our jobs. This is it now. Tell everybody. Making YouTube videos. Please tell everybody. Share share the show with your friends. Uh, subscribe to patreon.com slash kindoffunnygames. Subscribe to youtube.com slash kindoffunnygames. Go to twitch.tv slash kindoffunnygames where you'll find Colin and Greg doing a live show each and every day. Support us if you can. If you can't give us any money, that's totally cool. Just tweet about us. Share us on Facebook. Tell your friends. Do all that stuff. If we hit 200,000 subscribers, can we finally show Kevin? Okay, that's not bad actually. That's a pretty two hundred thousand. Well, hundred on one channel and hundred on the other. Oh, I don't like that. I like one of them getting to two hundred. Okay, that's fine. If if total, I just think total amount two hundred. I'm saying no. I'm saying no to that plan. Is that okay now? That's fine, I guess. Fucking talk more shit to me, huh? I don't like when he abuses me. Yeah, I mean, bitch, you don't, you fucking bitch. Oh my god. Kind of sexy actually. (laughs) Let's get out of here. No, Uh, no, kind of funny. Regular gets there. Yeah. 200,000. Yeah. At 100,000, we're internet superstars. We gotta get to 100,000 first. Yeah. I think the internet superstardom is, is more important than showing route. Kevin's beautiful face. No. Right. He's like a cherub over there. He's a hairy cherub. Fuck you, that's what if you don't wanna go on. You are an indentured servant to us. Jeez. We so subscribe you. to all that, do all that, <laughs> look, listen, look, come to all the new shows. We're doing a bunch of appearances this week if you're somehow listening to this all on Monday. Yeah. Colin and I are on the lobby on Tuesday. I'm on a million different podcasts this week. Uh, Friday, we're all on the Smodcast over on Smodcast.com. The Kevin Smith episode of the Game Over Greg Show went live on Tuesday or is going live on Tuesday, depending on when you listen to this. Basically, there's a ton of content going up. You get it all at kindoffunny.com. Links, video embeds, you can just start going there and it'll all be gravy. Until next time, it's been our pleasure to serve you.